Proudly covering all of Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania, this is Eyewitness News. Good morning. It's Monday, September 23rd. I'm Kelly Byrne. Let's check in with meteorologist Stefano DiPietro. And what should we expect for our first day of fall? Yes, it is the first day of fall, but it does not feel like it. It's pretty warm, it's pretty humid. We'll have a couple of showers, even a thunderstorm to talk about as we go through today. So here's our lunch hour. Rest of the morning looks dry as we get close, though, to the start of the afternoon. More cloud cover comes back in. Even a couple of showers try to pop up along with that. Then we get a nice little break through midday today. And then once we start to go into this evening, watch what happens. More showers, even a thunderstorm start to fire up. That looks like when we'll see more of the widespread heavier downpours, if there are any to talk about today. But we are going to find good dry time. Right around 82 and pretty humid in the eyewitness weather forecast. So that's where any of those heavier downpours would come from just because we have all the excess moisture with us today. 58 for the overnight low tonight. 72 tomorrow. We mix clouds and sun. Wednesday, we're dry in the mid-70s. Then just a shower on Thursday, Kelly. All right, Stefano, thank you. Police avert a threat against two schools in the Hazleton Area School District. Mayor Jeff Cassatt received a tip via text message Saturday and alerted police. The message contained threats of a mass shooting and pipe bombs against Arthur Street School and Hazleton High School. Further investigation led police to 28 year old Christian Deal of Hazleton. Police arrested Deal on a felony charge of threatening to use weapons of mass destruction. He is locked up in the Luzerne County Prison this morning. Police are investigating a shooting that led to the death of a young girl. It happened at Wildflower Village on Astor Court in Exeter. Troopers say a girl was killed, and the person who pulled the trigger was another juvenile. State police are classifying it as criminal but didn't indicate if the shooting is considered intentional or accidental. An autopsy was performed Sunday, but those results are not being released at this time. You can go to our website, pahomepage.com, for more news and weather in our area.